Hello everyone, this is Lovey, and today we're going to talk about how to start an aquarium. This is a super basic and beginner's guide to the aquarium hobby, and I'm going to skip over a lot of information just for the sake of simplicity. So to start, you will need to first consider how much space you have, how much time you can commit, and what kind of fish you want to keep. Once you have an idea of what you're capable of maintaining in terms of space, time, and fish, research what the needs are of the fish that you'd like to keep. Some fish are peaceful or small and need small tanks and can live in communities, while others like cichlids are more aggressive and can really only be kept with other aggressive fish. Next, you need to go find the appropriate size tank, filter, lights, heater, and a stand. Stands are really important because a full aquarium can be very heavy with water, substrate, hardscape, and everything else. And if you can't find a stand, you can build one. Now find a spot for your tank away from direct light and in a spot that doesn't get much foot traffic, as the vibrations can startle and stress your fish. Direct light is also not good because it can lead to algae blooms, which just don't look very good. Now you can start decorating your tank by rinsing your substrate, sand or gravel, and placing it in your tank. Some fish prefer certain types of substrate, but the colors and how you place it, sloped for example, or multiple types of substrate, is up to you. Sometimes people don't use substrate at all, for example with goldfish or flower horns. Next comes hardscape, meaning stones and wood, or artificial decorations if that's what you like. How to place these is completely up to you and depends on your aesthetic. Sometimes people will place hardscape before the substrate, depending on whether or not their fish like to dig or large elements will shift with time. Now we can place plants. I definitely recommend live plants because it improves both oxygenation and quality of the water, but you can use artificial plants as well if you really want to. Again, plant these wherever they get enough light and looks really good to you. Now you can hang any filters, intakes or outputs, heaters, thermometers, everything on the glass and start to fill with water. Put a plastic bag in your tank for the water to spill onto so it doesn't mess up your substrate or your plants. Once the tank is full, and remember to fill it all the way up, you need to add water conditioner. Water conditioner rids your water of chlorine and other harmful chemicals that can kill your fish. Once it's full, you can turn on your lights, heater, filter, you're done. You're finished sitting up your tank. Fish will have to wait though because now your tank has to cycle. That means we have to allow beneficial bacteria to grow in the filter and the aquarium itself to break down harmful chemicals that will make your fish sick and possibly even kill them. There are a few ways you can do this that I'll cover in a later video, but for now you should know that there are products you can use to introduce and help beneficial bacteria grow. After a few weeks, if you've done the process right, you should be able to add fish. Test your water with test strips or a water testing kit to be sure. Once there is no ammonia or nitrites and rising nitrates, your tank is ready. Now you can bring your fish home and acclimate them. After they've been acclimated, you can finally add them to the tank. Now you've done it. You've finally set up your very first aquarium. However, it doesn't stop here. Aquariums need regular maintenance, so it's a good idea to test your water regularly to see how often you need to do water changes. If you have live plants, you'll probably need to trim them back from time to time. If you have gravel, you may need to gravel vac it to remove poop and uneaten food. A clean tank is a happy tank that will bring you joy for many years to come. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, this is a very basic beginner's guide to start in the hobby, so I've glossed over a ton of information. If you're ever not sure of something, always look it up. If this video helped you at all, please leave a like and let me know in the comments what I should talk about in my next video. As always, love your fish. See you next time.